I've always thought that a good model train is a bit like having a good friend. Like a ray of sunshine on a wet day. Like a warm hand in a cold winter. Like finding a needle in a haystack. Hello, I'm Martin Mart Martinson and I'm the chairman of Mart Martin Mart Martinson Models. Today we're delighted to be announcing a new locomotive that will change the modeling landscape forever. You shall have a fishy on a little dishy. You shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. wrong side. <laughs> it's an all new one-to-one -one scale model of the DAPOL 4300 class available for the first time in double O gauge. It really is a tremendous locomotive. They have done a superb job in producing an incredible locomotive. You are going to buy it aren't you? There are days where I feel so insane that I can't even move. I can't speak. I just lie there and bleat like a sheep. No, they really have done an incredible job on this locomotive. It is a superb model. For the money, this will be one of the greatest models ever to be produced. Like a big, stupid, feathery chicken sheep. I personally attended the scanning of the prototype. It was quite incredible watching Cooper work. I could tell that he was keeping a careful eye on all of the details. And I felt confident that he wasn't going to miss a thing. I don't know what to do with my hands now. What about the research process? The research, it was lengthy, very lengthy. <laughs> Cooper hadn't done this before and we were worried about whether or not he would be up to the job. but we needn't have worried. Is there anything else you can tell me about the research? No, no. <coughs> I can't quite remember the day we went to measure the locomotive. I think it, I think it might have been a Thursday. It will be a travesty if people do not purchase this model in a timely manner. I'm excited. I... I... Absolutely tremendous. It is a tremendous locomotive. I'm excited. This locomotive will be the pinnacle of model railway modeling model. Please purchase this locomotive.
I have actually invested a great, great deal of money into this project. It simply must be purchased. It must be. So I'm actually the lead designer on this project. In the office they call me the normal one of the bunch. <laughs> So it's basically my job to produce all of the drawings and all of the design work for a project like this. And we actually started this project way back in 2012, so it's been quite a, a mammoth task to undertake and it's a great relief to finally be able to sort of bring this out into the open for you all. I suppose the hardest part in a project like this is getting the, the general outline of the model correct. I think once all the measurements and all of the other parts are in place, it's actually quite easy then to go in and add all of those extra details. <laughs> And here in my two hands, I have a decorated sample of this superb locomotive. And you will actually have great trouble differentiating between this model and the real locomotive. And I think that's a real credit to the team. You really are an absolute beauty, aren't you? Mwah. Yeah, <laughs> when we started this company, people were not taking us seriously. None of us had ever produced a locomotive before. People had great doubts as to whether we could actually pull this off. But hopefully this video will demonstrate that we are serious, we are capable of doing this, and that the model when it comes out is going to be very, very special indeed. I, I can't wait. I think this is going to be a very, very big thing for the hobby. A first, in fact. Hello there everybody, Jeremy Brown Noses Trains here, welcome back to the railway and have I got a video for you today. So this all started when I got an email from Martin Mart Martinson of Martin Mart Martinson's Models. Yeah, we talk, we talk. He sent me an email, we're on first name terms actually, he started his email with, hello Jeremy. <laughs> He's a great guy, very, very knowledgeable. Anyway, he said to me, would you like to try out one of our brand new Dapol Mogul locomotives? And I said, yes, absolutely. And so, Therefore, here I have it. This is the Martin Mart Martinson Models Dapol Mogul locomotive. Yeah, it seems that Dapol's Mogul was so popular that it actually created demand for a model of the model, and that's what I've got right here. Now, I should tell you, just to be clear, that I did not pay for this. I was sent this for free by Martin Mart Martinson's Models. It's a free sample, and they've promised me more if the review is positive. I mean, <laughs> if, if they produce more models in the future, cut that bit out, I would. So you can expect an entirely honest review from me. The RRP for this is going to be £800, and I know a lot of people have said that price seems ridiculous, but I actually talked to Martin, Mark Martinson, about this. We do talk, uh, this was, he, he sends me emails, we're on first name terms, and he said that actually they're not doing this for fun, this is a business, they need to make some money. And actually, before Martin Mark Martinson told me this, I hadn't realised that that was the case, actually, so hopefully we've all learned something there. Now that we know this, I actually think the price seems pretty reasonable for this. In fact, it's actually very, very good value for money. Martin, if you're watching, I'm sure you will be. Martin Mark Martinson, you, you could make this a little more expensive, in fact. I'm sure people will appreciate it for the fantastic model that it is. We've all seen the promotional material. Let's get this out and find out whether it is actually going to live up to all of the hype. And something tells me that it certainly will be. Let's get this out. So the attention to detail that Martin Mark Martinson's models have actually put into this locomotive is clear even from the outside of the box. You can tell that the box even looks like the Dapol box. I've noticed it doesn't say Dapol, it does say Martin's, Mar Martin Mark Martin, Mar Mar it says the name of the company on the front of the box there. Uh, so this isn't the same as the Dapol packaging, but it does look very, very similar. So I think this really will feel like you're unboxing a real Dapol locomotive when you take this thing apart, which is absolutely amazing, I think. Okay, let's open up the box and see what we have inside. The packaging is stunning, as you can tell. This actually is worth a lot of money on the black market. So if you actually don't think you'll need this, you can stick it on eBay and you can actually make some of your £800 back on that. That's really quite a handy thing. Okay, we can just about see the Martin Mark Martinson's Models Class 43XX Dapol Mogul inside the box, but let's pull it out and find out exactly what this is like. And oh, shiver me timbers. Oh, good Lord above. You can tell how heavy this is straight away. I mean, this really is heavy, heavy, heavy. We'll have to get this on the scales at some point, I think, and, and find out how heavy this is. In fact, I'm, I'm just gonna put it down for a second because it is tiring me out a little bit. Okay, let's carry on. Let's have a look then at the detail bag. There is an accessories bag here, which I think is marvelous. I mean, what attention to detail. 
Okay, there we go. You can see we have an etched number plate inside there. In fact, I think there's a pair, so you can put one on both sides of the cab if you want to. One or two other details inside there as well, which I think is just absolutely incredible. Let's get the locomotive out then, and this will be my first time looking at the uh, Martin Mark Martinson models. 43XX mogul, and wow, is this not a Dapol mogul? Is this really a Martin Mark Martinson's mogul? I'm struggling to tell the difference here. Okay, well, let's have a look at the tender to start with, shall we? Oh, wow, Martin Mark Martinson. I can tell why you're so pleased and excited with this. Look at the finish. That is such a metallic finish. You might say that the decoration looks like it's been done by a child, but actually in real life, the paintwork was rarely perfect on these locomotives. And I think unlike the Dapol mogul, the Martin Mark Martinson model actually portrays that beautifully. That is one heck of a tender. Let's grab the locomotive then, see what that's like. Oh, oh dear. Hang on, it's left its chassis behind. One second. <clears throat> Okay, there is the locomotive. And the one thing that has struck me already about this loco is the quality. Everything is put together properly. Nothing feels like it's going to come apart straight away. I mean, this really is a quality locomotive. So it is expensive, don't get me wrong. It is rather expensive. But as I've already said, Martin Mark Martinson models have explained that this is not just a project for fun. This is designed to make money. So actually, I think this is very, very reasonable. I love the finish. I don't think I bought a weathered locomotive, but in places, this almost does look weathered, which is a really nice surprise, actually. Yeah, it's very heavy. It's clearly quality. I cannot wait to get this running on my layout. For now, though, let's take a close look at this locomotive and just admire. Let's drink in some of the details. Oh, I can't wait. So there it is then, the Martin Mart Martinson Dapol Mogul up close and personal for you. Now, before we start looking at the details, I should just say that there is one really nasty, unfair review out there by a person, I'm not going to mention his name because uh, it leaves a bit of a dirty taste in my mouth, but basically he slated this locomotive for the poor quality and the high price, and he said that the model was nothing like what was promised in the promotional video. However, I'm really pleased to say that this model that I received from Martin Mark Martinson's models is in perfect condition, and therefore that really quite unfair review, I feel, has been proved incorrect. As I say, everything about this model is absolutely spot on. I think I'm really, really impressed with this one. The livery application is marvellous. You've got the Great Western lettering on the side of the cab there. The cab, incidentally, is full of exquisite cab detail. I don't think I've seen a cab quite as good as this. One thing I didn't mention is that the entire locomotive is made of metal, it is die cast. And as you can see, we have the perfectly straight running plate here, no bowing in it at all. I will get my ruler just to show you how straight that is. I mean, the quality, it really is second to none. We've got beautiful crank pins, as you can see, look at the quality of those crank pins. You didn't actually get that on the original Dapol model. So the model model is actually quite a lot better in a few areas, including on the handrails, as you can see, you've got these beautifully separately fitted and separately painted handrails all look amazing the buffer beam is so so nicely detailed look you have the actual screw link couplings pre-fitted to sprung hooks on the buffer beam i mean this really is a feature unlike any other and you do actually have sprung buffers as you can see there we go proper sprung buffers which are absolutely marvelous i've already talked about the weathering which makes this locomotive so very realistic looking doesn't it i don't think i could have done a better job of that myself and as i say the level of detail is just absolutely superb across the entire model. I love the innovative coupling between loco and tender. It's so subtle that you actually struggle to see it and it does allow the loco and the tender to be coupled really close together which again I think is really impressive. Again the paintwork and the finish is marvellous on the tender. You've got that really nice glossy finish. Very fine. Look how fine these handrails are. Incredibly fine little handrails. All separately fitted of course. Nice separately fitted coal load. It's very very fine coal but of course that is coal. That is the nature of coal isn't it? So hopefully now you've enjoyed a really good close look at this locomotive and you can understand why I will be giving this a detail score of 9.846 out of 10 as I believe that is completely deserved. Right, let's get this absolute beauty down onto the track and see how it runs, shall we? 
So there it is then, the Martin Mart Martinson models mogul down onto the track, looking absolutely fantastic, I must say. Now, while I do think this model is perfect in every way, I did have a slight issue with this when I went to run it. The slight issue was that it was completely dead, it would not run at all. However, I sent Martin Mart Martinson's models an email, and actually Martin himself answered. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was quite starstruck. We do talk to each other occasionally though, and I must say the customer service I received from Martin was absolutely fantastic. He explained exactly what I should do to get this up and running so that I could show it to you in the video like this. So I'm just going to get the tender coupled up. Uh, Martin helped me devise a way of actually coupling the loco and the tender together, which is absolutely great, I think. No two modelers are exactly the same, and so leaving the loco and tender coupling up to the modeler, I think is a really original idea. Okay, let's give this a try then. How is the crawl? Let's try the Martin Martin Mart Martinson models mogul for the very first time. Here we go. A little bit of juice. Let's see. How's the crawl going to be? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that is just absolutely amazing. That is what we pay for, isn't it, really? That's what we pay for. Let's try it in reverse. Let's just drop that into reverse. Uh, there we go, that was just absolutely buttery smooth, wasn't it? And with that, I think we'll get this beautiful model running. Running, 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 running. And we will enjoy it going around the layout, shall we? All right, here we go. Okay, here it comes. Let's test its performance up. Oh dear. A little bit of, oh sorry, that was just my hand nudged the controller there, hang on. There we go, that's better. Let's see how this thing handles Gordon's Hill then. Is it going to slow down around the curbs or anything? No, perfect motion on the curbs there, which shows that obviously there are no quartering issues or anything with the linkage. The loco really is buttery smooth in basically every circumstance, which is exactly what you want on an £800 model, of course. And as expected, it does seem that we are getting exactly what we paid for here. What a top-notch performer. I'm absolutely blown away by that. Well done, Martin Mart Martinson models. And well done to Martin Mart Martinson himself for producing such a fantastic model. And Martin, thank you for the flowers and the car. You really didn't need to do that, but I, I truly appreciate it. I'm sorry, Martin. So it does seem a little bit redundant to start talking about ratings because when you watch your review you can see with your own eyes what a locomotive is really like and you don't need me to tell you about it. However, just in case you were wondering what I would give this, here are the ratings. So the level of detail, I think I already said this, but I'm giving it 9.846 out of 10 because I still have no idea whether I'm looking at the Martin Mart Martinson model of the Dapple Mogul, or in fact just the Dapple Mogul on its own. So the detail gets a very, very high score there. The performance gets 9.697 out of 10. Again, very little way to fault the performance. I have seen maybe a little bit of unsmoothness around some of the curves, but other than that, I wouldn't knock off more than say half a mark for that. And in fact, I've knocked off less than that. The pulling power is really quite impressive actually because of all the metal work that's on board. So I've given it 9.98 two out of ten very good score the mechanism uh, i confess i don't really understand mechanisms very much but i have seen fit to give this 9.883 out of 10 because the motor is a nice color and i like the thickness of the coupling rods the quality i cannot fault i mean the quality is amazing the thing is entirely made of metal everything fitted properly everything fitted straight cannot fault it at all so it gets 10.000 out of 10 that's a very good mark there value for money 800 pounds or 799 pounds it sounded like a lot to start with but now that i've seen the model and it showed me what martin mark martinson models are actually capable of i do think the value is deserving of my score of 9.998 out of 10. so there we go there is the final score i've rounded it up to the nearest 10 as i always do that is 10.000 out of 10. that's a really really good score very happy with this please do i mean if you want to go out and buy one and support Martin Mart Martinson models, uh, just like they've supported me. And hopefully they will be able to go on and produce even more models in the future to send to me. And that, of course, will be amazing for our hobby. So thank you so, so much for watching. That was my review. I mean, wow, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. You take care of yourselves and I will see you very, very soon. If I were the king.
of the forest. Not Duke, not Prince, but King.